In this tutorial, I will show you Origin's new Rescale tool, which you can access from the Tools toolbar located on the left-hand side of the Origin workspace. From the tooltip, you'll see that you can also access the tool anytime while working with the graph using the keyboard keys, either the Z key or the X key. Holding down Z and using the mouse scroll wheel scrolling up will scroll in, zoom in, on your x-axis scale. Scrolling down will zoom out. If I hold down the X key and scroll up, I'm actually scrolling along the x-axis scale. Scrolling down, I'm moving in the opposite direction. Now holding down the X key, I can also click on the data plot and drag it. And notice in my data display window, as I'm dragging it, you see the final X1 and X2 coordinate values, your from and to values on your axis scale. Had you wanted to rescale the Y axis, holding down the X key, you can also hold down the Shift key at the same time, and then scrolling will rescale in the Y direction and clicking to drag will show you your final Y1 and Y2 in the data display window. Let's look now at a stacked graph, a graph with three layers sharing a common X scale. I'm going to go ahead and use the data reader. We can then read off points along our curve in either layer. And you'll notice that the data display window updates as well as our data info window. The difference here is the data info can be customized. And in fact, you may have seen that I had this window open earlier when I was working with the other graph, but it really wasn't needed. And I'm going to actually go ahead and just close it now as well. Now, anytime you're working with a tool like this, you may wish to zoom in on a particular layer while you're working. So I can then just hit the Z key use the mouse scroll wheel to zoom in a bit. And that is true of any other tool too, such as a gadget. We have the vertical cursor, which we can position. And we can move this along. We can come in here. And if we wish to zoom in a bit in the Y direction, we would hold down the Z key and the Shift key and scroll up here. We can then click and drag as well. Position our cursor along. If we wish to tag peaks at that time, we can hit this button here. It'll add a tag and a label. And then we can continue moving along, tagging other peaks, zooming in as needed. And then repositioning the cursor, tagging that as well. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.